Hello, everyone. My presentation is uh, about uh, graphic design, but graphic design using LibreOffice and uh, the small, simple uh, Turtle Graphics programming language of LibreOffice, uh, Libre logo. I will try to show nice examples and uh, to show the the, the hidden uh, things related to the graphic capabilities of uh, LibreOffice and LibreLogo. And uh, I will try to load big doc documents and uh, maybe making some uh, simple programming. So I, I hope uh, everything uh, will work uh, fine. So a short introduction. My, my name is Laszlo Német. I work for Collabora. And uh, as a uh, free software activist or volunteer, I work on different LibreOffice projects, for example, in the area of uh, spell checking and related uh, linguistic things, and uh, also on LibreLogo. LibreLogo is uh, related to the logo programming language. Uh, they built uh, a lo long ago by uh, MIT Media Laboratory for uh, psychological research. And later, uh, it was very useful to teach the children uh, for programming. And uh, in fact, not only children, the first slide show a, a Brazilian, uh, Brazilian uh, uh, learning, uh, not experiment, but uh, uh, event for uh, adults, for teachers or, or, or not teachers. Ivan Villarim, one of the contributors of LibreLogo, uh, is a presenter here and try to educate uh, teachers without any programming experience in an easy way using this Libre logo. The, one of the most important things with Libre logo, it, it uses the vector graphics of LibreOffice. So the result of the, the simple programs is uh, useful for graphic design using in books. For, for example, this is a Brazilian a Portuguese uh, book by uh, Gilvan Villarim about LibreLogo, and the book cover is made uh, in using LibreLogo. So, first examples is uh, not this one, sorry. I'm using a development version of LibreOffice and not the system installed that version, so I will start a little uh, movie about the features of uh, LibreOffice Draw, not, not uh, about Libre logo yet. And uh, I will show the Easter egg-like uh, graphics capability of uh, LibreOffice because LibreOffice, uh, it's quite, okay. So we try to draw something in, in this short video using uh, an ellipse, drawing an ellipse, uh, converting to, to curve, so we can select its uh, uh, con selection points and moving the control points parallel, the left and right uh, control points making uh, uh, oval shape and uh, with this oval shape we can make a 3D object and uh, moving the, the this rotation uh, uh, axis we can try where we can uh, make a Easter egg really an Easter egg in LibreOffice so it's not a well-known feature of LibreOffice using such a things. And uh, I mentioned the book covers. It, there are two short uh, textbooks about 
Libre logo, uh, uh, black and white, and uh, and uh, more colored uh, version. And I, I will, I can show the the printed version of the left one, and uh, I will give you to check the resolution of the uh, th the cover of this little test book. So it's uh, quite quite good, if I right think. And the book uh, has uh, other features, very nice features. I, when I uh, edited this uh, little book, I tried to use the DTP-like feature of LibreOffice. So the letters uh, uses uh, ligatures and uh, uh, other special uh, functions of the embedded graphite fonts of LibreOffice. For example, this font fonts, uh, has a real uh, uh, different size uh, let letters of the, the same font type. And uh, there are very small letters in this book, but the small letters are a little bit wider, so maybe a little bit more uh, read readable yet, but, uh, but uh, we can compress the text and the contain using these more readable, smaller letters. So, uh, for a moment, I will show that this book covers. This, this would be the behind the skin section. The first one, this is this uh, black and white. Only in print, in the printer version is black and white. But uh, as we can see, there is a, an interesting uh, turtle-like uh, graphics. And uh, this uh, contains the, the well-known logo uh, spiral, box spiral. And we can, we can move it in this picture, or there is a Vezerali like uh, graphics drawn by simple LibreLogo programs. There is a dragon curve, two dragon curves in the picture and the Koch uh, snowflakes. So it's, it's an example to use LibreOffice and LibreLogo for uh, complex, more complex uh, vector graphics. The next one is a textbook uh, for, uh, for pupils, not only for teachers. And uh, I will try to, uh, I will use, use the command line. It's a little bit more helpful for me. And uh, this one is ah, this one. The book cover of this, of this textbook uses this similar trick. But uh, if we try to move the background, we will. I can show you that this is a uh, line graphics. But uh, using the feature of LibreOffice, uh, the uh, transparent uh, gradient, we can uh, make a much more Spectacular, nice graphics with this in this mode. So when I uh, yes, this is the the source source code of the, the Hilbert curve. I try to more readable change. Um, Yes, 
on there. Maybe it's yes, and uh, there's a logo toolbar for Libre logo in the view toolbars menu. Here, here it is, and uh, using this uh, logo toolbar, it's possible to run the program in the right doc document, for example, this one. And uh, here's a result. You can make uh, some zoom to show the drawing. You can hide the turtle if you want a little bit faster drawing in LibreOffice. And uh, with a similar way, I, I made a poster for the schools a few years ago. The poster, the line drawing around the post, poster is, is, is one single ob, uh, object in LibreOffice. So it's possible to draw much more bigger line graphics in LibreOffice using this. Little tour, liberal, liberal logo. So, in, f in fact, the, the book contains uh, several program code, and if you select the code, you, you, can, uh, you can compile and run the code between the book two. Another example using uh, LibreOffice, LibreOffice Draw. In this uh, example, I, I made a, a bitmap graphics using GIMP based on a, a photo, and later I added a little uh, uh, the text and uh, this uh, this at the right corner right bottom corner there is a uh, text uh, meaning uh, uh, orthography in Hungarian uh, language because this poster about the new Hungarian orthographical reform it's a very controversial reform and uh, I I involved in this project. In, in fact, I made the sp Hungarian spelling uh, dictionary uh, for the language, and uh, this reform is, is, was not so nice for me. So I will show a little bit uh, examples about the graphics, because uh, uh, graphics design in LibreOffice uh, can combine different tools, for example, GIMP or, or uh, ink space for vector graphics, and the result uh, can uh, use at the end in LibreOffice Draw, for example, the, the more interesting graphics capability of uh, LibreOffice, for example, more easier uh, text handling. So this is this was a this is a original yeah, photo made in our holiday. The left girls are my daughter, so when I try to translate the, the picture in a black and white version in GIMP, I've, I've got this one, so it's not, not so nice. But if you uh, can use uh, the uh, graphics capability of GIMP in different uh, the layer technology, you can add, for example, this hand on the picture, and the other missing uh, parts of the uh, picture. Yes, it, uh, it, there is a layer mask using this combined this picture. Maybe I, I can show how it's possible to, the layer mask can handle the different parts of the original picture and 
I can set different, for these little parts, I can set different uh, uh, factor when I trans, uh, convert it to the black and white uh, picture. So maybe I can make a trick. Uh, for example, I can, uh, I can hide some parts of the picture. Yes, for example, this hand, and I can uh, combat save export as maybe there is a hidden dialogue somewhere, but it's very high, hidden. Okay, so it's possible to modify the picture also in, and this is the, I try to, yes, this is the ODG file for the final version of the uh, poster. And uh, if, when I uh, convert it to PDF in LibreOffice, the uh, final poster, I was able to use image magic to convert it uh, to b a bitmap again, but in the requested size using the uh, com convert tool of uh, image magic. It, it, it's possible to give a correct uh, pixel size. This was, was the uh, uh, request of the contest. This uh, somewhere there was a name, arts, or in English, face. This is the name of the, the biggest Hungarian uh, guy and poster or graphic design cost contest uh, in Hungary, but it, it was not so good uh, for the <laughs> final uh, selection. But uh, the meaning of the poster is the, that to uh, give a like for the new Hungarian orthography reform. And uh, there are three examples for the new translations of the uh, a give a like for the new Hungarian loan words. This is the exact translation. Hacker, loser, and uh, selfie. These are the words, but because this is the source, I can uh, modify, for example, uh, I can make a LibreOffice uh, like, uh, for example, hack or be a user and uh, share with us or some, something other. There is a new, very useful uh, function of uh, uh, impress and draw. This uh, little button at the zooming, this fits light to current window. So it's possible to, with a one click, to fit the picture to the, to the size. And uh, we can remove the, for, for example, these parts and uh, loading a picture. For example, this was the, yes, this one. I downloaded and maybe this is a color logo. This one is, there is no preview. Yes, because this is a, yes, the white and white, white and transparent logo. So might, it's a little bit ugly, but uh, I try to demonstrate to use the external uh, graphics tool in LibreOffice Draw. So that there is a edit with external tool command in the local men menu of uh, the pictures. So this will show in the default uh, image viewer of the system. For example, on Linux, this is the, in, in this Linux, this is the 
what is called some G like. Yes, but in this tool we, we can edit an, another one external tool to edit. This is the GIMP. So it's not, not, uh, not so easy. And uh, especially if we, I try to, it seems uh, somewhere there is a GIMP. Yes. And uh, what, where is the picture? It seems uh, I, I lost the, this one is the small, yes, sorry, I, I tried to edit the, the back and white picture. Here is, here is the logo of LibreOffice and I try to edit with GIMP. Here one, I will add a green background. I, I, I'm afraid it's, it's not the official LibreOffice uh, color code, but uh, we can, I can check maybe somewhere there was a similar one or no, it's not the similar <laughs> LibreOffice green, the 18. Free, free, F, free, free, A, A, no, uh, A, 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 sorry, and uh, zero, zero, it's okay, or, uh, this one, or, we can check it in the uh, wiki, but I will use a I will use a simple green. No, so it's it's uh, better. So I will add a new layer, and uh, using the background color, and uh, later I will I can move this layer at the background. So we will have a much more better um, picture now. Trans converting the transparent picture with a non-transparent version. I will override write this uh, temporary file in the file menu. So now uh, I can check if the, this uh, default image viewer of the system and I can, I need to save this picture, overwrite the original version and when I, the overwrite is Okay, uh, it seems LibreOffice somewhere doesn't want to, doesn't want to, maybe. I, I tried it uh, before, so <laughs> it, it worked, it, but so that's why I said at the beginning of my presentation, not everything will be work, something. Maybe there was some problem here. And uh, I can add much more uh, color to the, to the poster if, if needed. And I can uh, export to PDF. So I try to, and uh, the other, Examples in this uh, document and this uh, letter graphics. This is the original Hungarian uh, source code because we can use a lot of localized languages. But uh, if we uh, modify the language of the document, we can uh, we can convert the the natural language of the logo commands uh, to, for example, to English. I can show this one. English, the, the document language is English now. And uh, there is a wizard uh, icon on the toolbar. And uh, 
I've got the English version of the in this way. So maybe a little more bigger letter will help to see it. Uh, maybe it's a little bit big, but I can make it. Yes, this view will better if I write thing. So here is the program, and uh, here is the result. I can show a little bit modification. For example, I can modify the uh, font size a little bit uh, bigger one, or I can make a tr trick to make a uh, procedure. For example, this one is the, the yeah, for example, ortho, like orthography, and giving a size and uh, using this size in the font size command. Command. This is the will be the end. And uh, when I will use this auto command, for example, put a bit more bigger letters. Yes, I, I can get much more size. I can, uh, for example, make a, a little loop to make different uh, random size, for example. Random uh, and uh, with a, on a random position and uh, and try it, try this program. Maybe it will be it will show something. Yes, there are interesting results. For example, uh, there was a the pen was down first first time and uh, the text uh, is not so easy to move in the in this program but I can use the special command the picture of Libre logo this picture command will uh, put the result of the graphics the, the result of the procedure in a gr grouped uh, shape so when I start the program again and now when I try to uh, move the objects, now it, it seems that it is a grouped shape. I can remove the not so nice version and make a, a design or graphics, for example, a book cover in this way, using uh, elementary school level programming. So the aim of uh, LibreLogo to, to give a very simple tool for graphics designer, so it is the Automation, 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 and uh, I will show only a few examples in this way. For example, making a simple children book with Unicode for children is, is for, for babies is much more better, <laughs> better uh, book title <laughs> in the rough ver version. In fact, this is a Unicode, which, which Unicode is good for children, the emojis, for example, and April, and uh, we can show the, the source code of the, uh, thanks, source code of the Apple in this way, so the children can learn the background of the, background of the programming using simple elements to uh, draw more complex graphics. Uh, automation, for example, only a few sentences about this uh, picture. I made uh, a few years ago a uh, more complex liberal local program to, to download uh, the Wikipedia pages of the different chemical elements and, and drawing uh, periodic tables. And last, uh, yesterday I checked it and uh, it, it was uh, a surprise for me too that uh, the new elements, the new uh, element names, 
uh, it will, they will be official in the November uh, added to the uh, illustration. So I, I don't need to uh, use uh, the mouse or something other uh, method. It, the refresh update of the periodic table was uh, completely uh, automatic and in every in uh, 20 languages. So that is <laughs> that is why LibreLogo could be useful. In the yes, yes, uh, yesterday Hackfest, I I made a little patch to use the Python scripts of the LibreOffice in the common line too. So we can add a LibreLogo program in the common line and uh, uh, save the result in the SVG graphics using this uh, picture. I try to run, not run, but yes, it's, this is Firefox, uh, and uh, this one is a, a SVG animation made by LibreLogo. If we uh, use the way sleeping command of the LibreLogo, uh, the result of the SVG export will be uh, a SVG animation. Like, yes, this is an SVG graphics. And uh, about LibreOffice Online, this is uh, the, the, one of the main result of uh, the development in my company. The online version of LibreOffice uh, will know everything that the desktop LibreOffice version, so it's possible to generate much more uh, uh, complex text with uh, font features uh, and, for example, using LibreOffice for SVG. Thank you for your attention.